fair. What's no fair? You crashed. Well, you want to flip my controller. <laughs> Boy, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. Guys, what do you think of this color? It's called... It's called get in a squad car, lady. You're headed downtown. Come on, Mom, I'm late. If you're going to drive me to work, we got to go. You know, start for another hour. Yeah, well, she's in a big hurry to see Kyle. <laughs> Kyle? Conversation I really don't want to have. Ooh, those are always the best kind. So, Robbie, what do we got on this Kyle character? Ah, uh, spill it. Kyle is an amazing bus boy. Oh, Kyle's got his learner's Ooh. permit. Kyle's got cool hair. Ooh. Cool hair how? Wavy, long, what? In the movie, Kyle the Boyfriend, who do we see playing Kyle? Uh, I've never even talked to him, OK? She wrote Kyle on her hand. Shut up or I'll carve it on your face. <laughs> hey, you know what? When you do eventually talk to him, don't be smarter than him. And don't be taller than him. Oh. And how does your Kyle plan to support you and the children on a busboy's salary? Might he someday be a waiter? Good one. That reminds me, you live with your sister. Wow. <laughs> Easy mittens. Dude, you wanna play another game? Not with you. I don't feel like losing right now. Robbie. Winning isn't everything. Want an arm wrestle? Ah! Ah! Did you forget it was her birthday? No. What'd we get her? I got her one of those cat clocks, you know, where the eyes and the tail moves. What happened to the one she had? Oh, crap. So what are we gonna do, take her out to dinner? <laughs> You're kidding, right? Mom spends her birthday in bed crying. She has ever since the incident. The incident? Yeah, the incident where you came out of the closet on Mom's birthday. <laughs> the incident. I didn't know it had a name. Yeah, we knocked around a few things. It was uh, the horror, the nightmare, Pink Friday. Come on, it wasn't that bad. Considering I just told my wife that morning, I thought I was pretty damn suave. You were about as suave as a breech birth. Oh. I think your memory's a little cloudy there, Nurse Pamela. Do I have to show you the tape? Tape? There's a tape? Grandpa, is there anything you want to say to Grandma on her birthday? Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, happy birthday, honey. Uh, I don't know what I'd do without you. I mean, you cook, you clean, you do all the bills. I don't even know where our money is. Where the hell is our money? Tonight, I want you to tell me where our money is. Thanks, Grandpa. Why isn't Elizabeth here? I mean, it's my birthday. Mom, it's not something I really want to talk about. Robbie, could you shut that thing off? Okay, it's off. Is she still mad at Bill for backing into her car? I mean, he had it fixed. No, Elizabeth's mad at me. We had kind of a fight. Oh, well, I'm sure she blew it all out of proportion. No, not really. Tony, where the hell is our money? I won't be made a fool of. <laughs> Elizabeth didn't come because she's still mad at you for smashing her car. Not mad about the car. Then what, the towels? They're called guest towels. Fine, I'll give them back. Hey, where's Elizabeth? She was supposed to bring the crab dip. There's no crab dip? She's having a hissy fit because Bill hit her car. Yeah, she never comes to my house anyway. Well, she's very rude. She's not rude. She wasn't all that pleasant about the whole car thing. Leave Elizabeth alone. She's had kind of a rough day. Why do you always cover for her? She's stingy with her towels. She's obsessed about her car. She's moody. She's a snob. I'm gay. I don't know how you stay married. <laughs> what? Are you kidding? You see me laughing? I'm gay. No, you're not. Yes, I am, Mother. I'm gay. I'm a homosexual. That means I like men. No. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Oh, 
Wow, it's true. Told you. Camera really does add 10 pounds. <laughs> Give me this thing, I'm burning it. No, 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 you, you can't. It's the kid's favorite. We watch it every year on mom's birthday. <laughs> So are the Country Music Awards. It doesn't make it a good idea. <laughs> Time for a new tradition and a new tape. No, please don't fix this. Every year, Mom spends a couple of days in bed. It's her incident. It's my vacation. Come on, we'll make it a surprise party. I'll get her out of the house. You and the family meet us at a restaurant. Robbie will bring the video camera. Bang, we'll have a new tape. No, no way. You are on your own. Your guilt your problem. You didn't let me finish. The restaurant is Jensen's Grill. Where Kimberly works. With bus boyfriend Kyle. And we can blackmail her. <laughs> no, I just thought it'd be a nice memory. That is so gay. Mom? In here. Mom, you home? I'm in the bedroom. Mom! I'm in the bedroom, damn it! Brother, they call me a drama queen. <laughs> what are you doing? I just finished watching the incident. There are copies? Just for the family. <laughs> Pamela told me you stopped celebrating your birthday. It's not my birthday anymore. It's the day you came out. So it's just better for everyone if I just stay in bed until this thing passes. My life, Mom, it's not a kidney stone. Tony, are you on? Uh huh, it's the fruit basket. Hi, Papa. You want me to throw him out of here? I just took an iron pill. I can do it. I'm fine, honey. You ought to be ashamed of yourself visiting your mother on her birthday. Mom, can't we get past this and just go out to celebrate? You know, just the two of us? Have a few cocktails? Punch out a few sailors? <laughs> Four years ago, I would have found that funny. Now it just sounds gay. Look what you've done. I know, Mom's having a hard time. Mom, I haven't had a hot meal in three days, and I'm out of clean underwear. Hell, I'm wearing swim trunks. The netting is murder. My whole area looks like a crossword puzzle. <laughs> Again, Mom. You think I'm not concerned with your mother? Well, it so happens I am a caring, sensitive man. So, shut your gay mouth. Don't make me bitch slap you, old timer. Oh, you're still here. I'm not leaving until you agree to go out with me. Well, you just suit yourself. You remember when I used to be sick in bed with a cold or something, and you used to come in and sing me that song? Hmm? I don't remember. <laughs> yes, you do remember that song you used to sing when you were my little man? Mom! <laughs> if you sing it for me, I might go with you somewhere. I love to walk in the rain. The lightning may be frightening. I love the rain, so I don't care. Like you mean it. I feel wonderful when it's cloudy and thunderful. I won't complain. Yes. I know it's fun in the sun, but take all kinds of weather when all said and done. I love to walk in the rain. A surprise party, isn't that what you gave her last time? It wasn't that bad. Oh, please, I saw the tape. Pamela gave you a copy of the tape? No, Danny got one from some guy at work. <laughs> Charlie, your dad's here. Please make sure he goes with you tonight, please. Oh, you and the Dan man looking for a little privacy? Am I discussing this with you? Hmm, let's see. No, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Apparently there are boundaries and I've crossed over one. Thank you. Oh, Danny's a bit of a screamer, huh? Charlie, get down here. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> this better be good. Two more Legos and I got an airplane. 
<laughs> Here, this is for you. Oh, you shouldn't have. I didn't. We're throwing your grandmother a surprise party tonight. Oh. And you're going. Oh, I can't make it. If I didn't forget, would you mind giving this to her? <laughs> Come on, it's her first birthday out in four years. That's not my fault. It's nobody's fault. <laughs> well, I kind of think it's your fault. I mean, after all, I'm not the gay one. <laughs> yeah, that's what I used to think when I was your age. <laughs> Hey, guys. Hey, Danny. Don't you think Charlie should go to his grandmother's party tonight? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> I mean, gosh, Charlie, what's the big deal? I mean, it's just a couple hours out of your night, right? Hopefully more. I mean, no biggie, huh? OK, fine. I'll go. Great. Lizzie! Kitchen. Lizzie! Charlie has someplace to go tonight! <laughs> so what did I get Grandma? Cat clock. What happened to the one I gave her? Should be ready in another minute or two. Okay. <gasps> what are you guys doing here? Nothing. It's your grandmother's birthday, and we wanted you to be a part of it. Now, which one is Kyle? So Robbie can get a good close-up. They that goofy redhead guy right over there. You don't want to marry a redhead. They tend to be bleeders. <laughs> no. Kimberly, table 41 just opened. All righty daddy. Oh, yeah, that's him. <laughs> Maybe it's out of gas. Not out of gas. Well, I ran out of gas once, and that's just what it sounded like. I just filled it up. Ten minutes ago, you were with me. Well, then you must have a leak in your gas tank, because that's how it sounds when it's out of gas. Well, not out of gas. Don't get mad at me. I didn't make you run out of gas. Some awful part of town. It's not an awful part of town. <gasps> nice car. <laughs> you take the one on the left. And then take the one on the right. <laughs> Long story short, his head collapsed and mine didn't. That's why they call me Skull. I, I don't understand. Why would two men run at each other with their heads? Mom! <laughs> Thanks for your help. Oh. Boy, this is some birthday. You know, I'm going to call your father and have him pick me up. He's not home. How do you know? I don't know. Just a feeling. Call him if you want to. He won't be home. <laughs> You. What's going on with you? How come every time I don't make any sense, you ask me what's going on with me? Oh, hell, it's ruined anyway. <laughs> You're all at Kimberly's restaurant waiting to surprise you. Happy? Well, thank you very much for ruining my surprise. Fine. I'll call Pamela and have her pick us up. Excuse me, a Skull. <laughs> Could you tell me where the payphone is? I think I left it to Skank. <laughs> Could you be more specific? Blonde skank. Thank you. Come on, Mom. No, I'm going to stay right here and have myself a highball. It's my birthday. Mom, I I'd feel a lot better if you came with me. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Here, take my whistle. You'll be fine. <laughs> you know, this isn't the first time my son has ruined my birthday. That guy? He ruined your birthday? Yes, he did. Do you want to see a tape? <laughs> Phone call for Pamela Miller. Is there a Pamela Miller here? Kimberly, you have such a lovely speaking oh, voice. Oh. You know, I don't know why you're so nervous to talk to Kyle. You just talked to half the restaurant. Listen, the next time you talk to him, imagine you're talking over a microphone. Oh. Okay, I'll be Kyle. Kimberly, table number four. We are not doing this. Phone call. Fine. But you will notice that Robbie doesn't have any trouble talking to Kyle. My sister Kimberly, the hostess, she's lactose intolerant. So uh, never get locked in a room with her after she's eaten a bowl of ice cream. It'll knock you down. Uh, thanks. Kimberly, would you validate this for me, please? All righty-dighty. Thanks. 
you know? If it wasn't for that sign on the wall telling me I had to, I would have washed my hands. I think your little boyfriend here knows what I'm talking about. Senor, lava sus manos. I'm sorry, I don't speak Spanish. I like them a lot. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Yeah, you said... I told you to let her mope in bed, but no, that wasn't good enough for you. You had to be Mr. Fix-It. And now she's at some roadhouse bar about to be killed on her birthday? Yeah, and if you don't get Robbie down here right away with a video camera, you're gonna miss it. <laughs> All right, come on, gang, we're out of here. Robbie, listen, you two obviously like each other. Talk. Bye. <laughs> Do you, do you really like me? No. No, I don't. Yeah, I do. Good. Me too. Really? Even after meeting my family? Please, my family embarrasses me all the time. If it weren't for my hobbies, I'd go crazy. I read a lot. What about you? I'm into taxidermy. <laughs> Except kittens, mostly. Put them in Civil War outfits and reenact battles. <laughs> it's educational, and I'm learning a craft. Do you sew? No. You want to come over after work? I'll let you be the puppies. I mean, the North. No, I, I have to go home and bathe. <laughs> and call the police. <laughs> Okay, Mom. I called her. Yes, I am, Mother. I'm gay. I'm a homosexual. That means I like men. No. Son of a bitch! I'm showing these guys that old tape back when I used to be a gay. Hey, relax, Butch. Nobody here has a problem with the gays. I mean, hell, Spike and Viper here used to be very much in love. Ah, uh, but we're not together anymore, Butch. You know, Butch, you really did mess up Joni's birthday. Well, let's be fair here, Skull. How many of you have ever disappointed your mother? Show of hands. Bear in mind, most mothers are disappointed by interstate drug trafficking. Uh, now, how many wish your mothers would just get over it and have a happy life? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Well, that's all I want for my mom. Mom, I'm not sorry I came out. I am sorry I came out on your birthday. Can I tell you something that I may deny later? <laughs> you have made this birthday very special. By taking you to such a fancy place? No, honey. By moving back home and dragging me out of bed on my birthday. No one else has done that. You must really love me. Well, it's, it, it's a moment-to-moment -moment thing. <laughs> Come on down, sweetheart. I already popped the champagne. Oh, slow down, cowboy. I need you awake. <laughs> I could use a glass. Charlie. Why the hell are you at your grandmother's party? I got called off. Oh, all right. Guess I'll just take these upstairs. Good idea. Do I need coasters? No, Danny. <laughs> Honey, do you think you could uh, go out for little while tonight. Why? Well, Danny and I kind of want to have the place to ourselves. Why? What are you, two? <laughs> no, I know what you're talking about. You and Danny want to chug down some champagne and then have crazy monkey sex. <laughs> well, not until the other couple gets here. <laughs> you remember the Bradleys from down the street? The Bradleys? They're in their 80s. Uh-huh. They know stuff. Oh, that's it. You win. And when old man Bradley takes out those dentures... Okay! Am I running? Because I'm trying. <laughs> on tape before she falls off the bar again. Cool. Do you want to see me do my shimmy again? Hey, Mom. Is that Mom doing an upside-down kamikaze? Yep, her. 
Robbie's getting it on tape. Yep, we own her. <laughs> Skull! Love time! Yeah, how you doing, baby? <laughs> Tony, get down off of there. You're drunk. Whoa, hey, look, it's Bill from Jones Tape. Oh, it is. Hey, Bill, say, son of a bitch. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> With you bringing your mother into a hole like this, you won't be happy till you ruin every one of her birthdays. Oh, this is the best birthday ever! Oh, yeah. oh God, I wish she was gonna remember this. Uncle Butch, we're almost out of tape. May I have everybody's attention, please? You know, I was speaking to my friend Skull earlier, who so eloquently said, Anger is the glue that cements us to our past. Skull, you said that? It's on one of his tattoos. <laughs> anyway, I think it's time for my mom to break from her past. And what better way to do that than to break the tape? Break, break the, the tape! tape. Break, break the, the tape! tape. Break, break the tape! tape. This is why I never take you on a cruise. Uh, hit it again! Ah! Oh, 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 oh. The twins. Robbie. Robbie, did you get that? I got it, Uncle Butch. Excellent. We have our new tape. Happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday, Johnny. I'm glad you're out of bed. Thank you, Bill. I'll do a load of underwear tomorrow. <laughs> and food. There's no food. I won't. May I? Be my guest. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> oh.